HubSpot was able to cut their customer churn by 70% in six months with one simple move. I'm gonna talk about it in this video. Uh, this is from this book, one of my three favorite books on selling for anybody selling to small businesses, particularly if you're selling services or technology. So if you're an agency or you're selling SaaS, the sales acceleration formula I think is an absolute must read. Uh, before I tell you how HubSpot did this, um, let me tell you a little bit of a story here about my background, building my first business, selling to small businesses. My company was called Everon Technology Services and we sold IT management services to small businesses. Started that in Boston and grew it to a very successful business, millions of dollars of recurring revenue and teams across the country and was able to sell that business successfully. But it did not start that way. And it's a very important lesson related to this statistic from uh, HubSpot. I started the business with almost no funding at all uh, and it was just going out and hustling. And I'm a pretty good salesperson. I can be a pretty um, successful salesperson, sometimes to a fault, and that's the lesson here. When I started this business, uh, you know, I just needed money. And so I was just going out and selling anything to anybody that I could really even though I knew that our business model needed to have recurring revenue to be successful, and I had designed our services to be about recurring revenue, about selling proactive management on an ongoing basis of a company's technology, rather than just what was common in the industry at that point was just what we called break fix services, where it's just like, I'm gonna call somebody when my computer's broken, they're gonna fix it, and then I'm gonna kick him out of the office and not see him again until something else is broken. You know, I knew that what businesses needed, small businesses in particular, was more like what larger companies had, which was more proactive management. And I was broke. I was close to having to quit the business because I was so broke and I was so stressed out. And I took the gentleman that I had hired to run our services, because I didn't know anything about fixing a computer. I just knew there was an opportunity. And I took him out for some beers after work because I needed to talk to somebody because I was so stressed. And after a couple of beers, I started ranting about, hey man, I'm broke, I don't mean to scare you, I'm not sure if the company's gonna survive, uh, and what's going wrong? Why can't we keep our customers? Because we were churning through customers so fast. And he, I think at that point, realized how desperate I was, and so he was willing to be open with me, honest with me, even though I was his boss and give me some constructive feedback, thank goodness, because he told me, he said, Mike, you're a great salesperson and you're going out and you're drumming up business. So, but the problem is you're selling the wrong customers. And I said, what do you mean? And he goes, well, if you look at all the customers we've had over the last six months, from a service team perspective, it's very clear which ones are good ones and which ones are not. And he said, the good ones have a certain mindset. They see technology as strategic to their business. And so they want somebody to help them over the long run to, to use that technology more strategically to help their business win. And he said, the customers that churn, they have a totally different mindset. You've signed them up, but what they're hoping is that they can just get something done quickly and cheaply, take advantage of our services, and then they're going to cancel. And you can tell right away the difference because they're not interested in having conversations with us about anything more long-term with their technology or strategic with their technology. They just want something fixed right away. And if we can't perform some sort of miracles, they're gone. Or if we can perform the miracle, then they feel like, okay, the pressure's off. We don't need their services anymore. And they're also gone. And so it hit me just like a ton of bricks. I mean, it was this light bulb moment where I realized he's right. I'm selling to anybody that will throw money at me and it's not necessarily good customers. They don't really have the mindset to be good long-term customers, which brings me to that statistic here in HubSpot. HubSpot was facing the exact same issue and within six months, they made a change and within six months, they were able to drop churn by 70%. What was that change? 
Listen to this quote. This is amazing. Across the sales organization, there was more than a 10x difference between the salesperson with the lowest churn rate and the salesperson with the highest churn rate. So let that sink in real quick. The worst salespeople had customers that were churning at over 10 times the rate of the best salespeople in HubSpot. If you would have told me like two times the rate or three times the rate, I would have said, yeah, okay, I get that for sure. 10 times the rate, that's unbelievable. And so they're selling the same product, right? They're, they're, they work at the same company, they're getting the same training. So what was the difference? And it turned out that the best salespeople recognized good customers that were qualified, that were bought into what HubSpot could do for them, that were thinking long-term, that were thinking strategic, and they were walking away from the other deals because they knew it wasn't worth it to bring on somebody that was just gonna churn. Whereas the salespeople with the 10X problem, the 10X churn rate, they were just chasing money. Anybody that would throw money at them, they would just sign them as a customer. So the quote continues, our customer retention was predicated on the types of customers the salespeople chose to target and the expectations they set with each new account. This is the most critical factor, and this is what I learned at my business as well, in getting better retention of your services. It's not doing some fancy hocus pocus with your services. It's not trying to find the miracle service that you can offer that's going to, you know, all of a sudden get these outrageous results for your customers. It is the types of customers that you decide to sell to and the expectations you set with each account. That is what dropped HubSpot's churn rate by 70% within six months. And specifically what they did was that they changed their commission plan so that salespeople only got their full commission when they sold customers into an upfront payment of six months or more. Why six months or more? What they found was that the best customers, the customers that were actually committed to have the mindset, also had the money. They were better run businesses, they were more mature businesses, and they were willing and able to invest upfront in getting HubSpot on board, HubSpot on board with them, because mentally they were making a commitment. So when HubSpot said, hey, you can save some money, prepay six months in advance, and the customers did that, they were better quality customers. So HubSpot said, let's change our compensation of our sales team to make sure that our salespeople know that they're only really gonna make their money if they're selling those customers that will actually prepay for services because those are the best customers. Those are the ones that are coming into the services committed. And those are the ones that have the right mindset. They're higher quality and they have money. They're just better quality customers. And if they're not that quality of a customer, move on. So specifically, an entry-level salesperson at HubSpot, as of the time writing of this book, had to accumulate an install base of $60,000 in monthly recurring revenue, acquire an average of 5,000 new monthly revenue, monthly recurring revenue per month, and sign up customers with an average of six months paid up front in order to qualify to get a raise to the next level of salesperson in the organization. So they had to get an average of six months paid up front from each new customer to qualify for a raise in the sales organization or a promotion in the sales organization. It's a fantastic book. It's got such good data in here. Anybody, any agency, anybody working with high level, any of my partners there working with high level to learn how to sell more effectively into small businesses and retain those customers so that you can build a, a business that is an actual asset for you and that actually makes you good money. Read that book and be picky 
about the quality of customers that you bring on board. There is nothing more important when it comes to lowering churn, retaining customers longer, than your ability to fully qualify those customers before they come on board and to set real expectations with them. And the best sign of commitment that you've got the right customer and that you've set those right expectations and that that customer is bought in is their willingness to prepay. All right, I hope that helps you. I've got all kinds of resources down below this video in the comments. Uh, I would love to hear from you. Any questions, put them into the comments, please. Uh, give it a big thumbs up, share it with somebody that you think would find this valuable and please subscribe to my channel. Again, resources down below here in the description of this video. And I look forward to seeing you on a future video. Take care.